A-T-C-K. Happy weekend, dudes and dudettes, and welcome back to Sunday Funday, our weekly festivities which are decided by popular demand on our Discord channel. This week's vote is for Stormblood content. We're currently hashing out what that's going to be since we've had a few last-minute cancellations and a few staff changes today. We'll be back in a few moments after we've had the chance to organize. Uh, in the meantime, if you are following along, please feel free to go ahead and check out that link below the live stream. That does link to our current fundraiser on Tiltify, part of our Chocomus 2020 fu uh, fundraiser, to support uh, Save the Children and their ongoing efforts against the coronavirus outbreak here in the United States. Thank you again for your patience. We'll be with you shortly. There we go. All right. Uh, would you like to... One second. Tank? Yes. Uh, I was going to ask Shion, would you like to bird farm? Since we do yeah. have we do have an open spot and we don't necessarily need anything. It's for the memes. Yeah, I don't mind. Cool. I think folks are making this a little yeah, bit more complicated than it needs to be. What are you talking about? So... Isn't this? Yep, level 60 gets progress towards the tank mount. It has to be level 61 or higher. It's gonna give me progress towards the 200 mount, but not towards the 300 mount. The 300 mount has to be Stormblood or higher, which is the war bear or the war variants of the mounts. But the regular variants of the mounts you can get with just um, level 60 and below. So that's any extreme duty. For the 200? Um, that sucks. Yep. Paladin has a lion, warrior has a bear, dark knight has a panther. And I have a rock. I have a jar of dirt. I understood your instructions, Kai. Okay. Well, this is the second time I've done them, so I'm starting <laughs> to get a little bit concerned. People aren't paying attention. Suffolk, okay. Dark, Demonic, and Rose. I'm pretty sure Rose is Ravana. Yes, it is. Rose, Rose is Ra Ravana. I have it so too. So that leaves Sephiroth, Bismarck, uh, Thornton... And, and yeah, because he has Nidhogg, Sophie, Zervin, and Ravana. Okay. Saren has the Phoenix, right? Yes. Okay. Saren's asking if she can go as a brain dead tank to try to get him out. Sure, we can just triple tank it. It's, the mechanics are not really a big deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's gonna show off her Dark Knight skills. Her elite Dark Knight skills. Uh, so you said that's uh, Sephiroth, Bismarck, Thornton. Thornton.
I think that's it. Here, let me help. That's a good question. I don't know if birds count for the tank achievement because it's, um... They do for all tanks except for Gunbreaker. And they only count for the 200, which is the just the high-level duties. Oh, because... they don't count for the, like, the tank you... Yeah, the, th the th they don't count for the 300 um, war variants of the mounts. Gotcha. So there isn't much reason for me to be my tank. Which is fine, yeah. because I can bring the damage. In the dapper, the very dapper ninja. Rose, Sophic, Demonic. To ninja. Why don't we just all run tanks? All tanks, all the time. <laughs> yeah, can't die for all tanks. Ah, uh, you underestimate my power. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody runs Gunbreaker, they can definitely die. Just bolide and then wait. <laughs> exactly. Let me see here. How's in this Rose Ravana? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think we do Thornton. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, and this voting thing doesn't seem to be working. So we're going to do Thornton, and if somebody really hates that idea, then somebody can speak up. No, let's do it. What is it? Minstrel's Ballad. Thornton's Reign. There it is. I've scrolled past it four times because I haven't had enough coffee. Yeah, somebody uh, make does sure not that have it unlocked. Has it unlocked. Probably Atomia. Uh, uh, what's the dungeon? I can double check. Uh, uh, Thordan, Minstrel's Ballad, Ballad Thordan's Reign. Yes. Thordan's Reign. Mm -hmm. I have it here. You pick that up in the in the Rising Stones, just like most of the rest of them, right? Mm, no, that's the Minstrel. That's the Wandering Minstrel in the Rising Stones. That that's what I just said. Well, in front of the Rising Stones, not inside <laughs> the Rising Stones. Well. I mean, okay. Semantics, <laughs> semantics guys. Come on. <laughs> uh, you picking up two parsecs to the left? That's the Dagobah system. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look like I have it. Um, if you finished Heaven's Word, you should just be able to pop over to Mordona, and uh, the Wandering Minstrel should give you a quest to unlock the, the instance. All right, we'll grab it, because I can go to Mordona. Should just be a hop and a skip, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Then who do I have to talk to? The, the wandering, wandering Minstrel. Is, well, he'll be just south of the ether, right? Yeah, he's at the bar. He's at the bar. Oh, Good yeah. place to be. Keeper of knowledge. No matter how much I sweep, I can't get this floor clean. <laughs> <laughs> Now you should be able to. You're going to slap me now. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, well, if we're talking about people being on the floor, I ought to have a dragoon. That's that's just the natural order of events. I'm surprised there hasn't been a blue mage blowing themselves up yet. Give it time. Oh, here it comes. What was I going to do? Skadoosh. You know, if you want to time that really well with like her slap emote and I blow myself up at the same time, that would actually be pretty funny. Instead of one instead of one punch, it's one slap. Oh yeah. Uh, whenever you're ready, Atomia, just uh, just let us know. Yeah, um, I should be all set. All right. Should is the keyword. Somebody does not meet the requirements for the duty. Yes. 
Uh, what are the requirements? That's the that, that's the um. Just having the duty unlocked, I think, is the only requirement. Yeah. Yeah. It should um when I go to queue us, somebody should have a message right now that says you don't meet the requirements for this. Oh, that's still me. Level sixty, item level one hundred and ninety. I, I talked to the the individual. I got the quest. Did you turn it in? Thought I did. Is the quest is the quest still on your tracker, or is it just? No, the only quest I have on my uh, the tracker is um, the main storyline. Mm. I don't see anything in my journal either. Trying to think of what else it could be. We need to go double check, I guess. Okie doke. I mean, it's not like it's that far to go check. Explorer mode unavailable. Well, there goes my dreams of taking selfies with uh, the Knights of the Round, man. <laughs> I'll just have to do it in combat. Yeah, there's no quest marker over the guy anymore. And if you look in your... If you look in your duty finder under Heaven's War Trials, do you see Minstrel's Bad Ballad Thornton's Reign listed? Under Heaven's Sword, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't see it. Let me Google it. Yeah, it's under High End Trials. I don't. I don't think it is anymore. Yeah, it is. Because you go into uh, Trials, you go uh, Trials number one. Yep. Oh, I High End them. Heaven's Word, I gotcha. I have four of them, and none of them are the uh, Minstrel one. Interesting. Okay. Require quest Thornin's Reign, which is immediately after the quest Heaven's Ward. I don't think it's missable. <laughs> I'm perplexed. So, what four duties do you have for uh, Heaven's or High End Trials Heaven's Ward? The Trials is. Uh... Thok as Thok, the Limitless Blue, the Singularity Reactor, and the Final Steps of Faith. Ha has he done the first one? Like the Limitless Blue regular? Well, we're, we're looking at uh, Thordans at the moment. Oh. And those are all it, like, minst like, um... Hold on, Duty Finder. Well, this is, Yeah, so you, you have, would have had you to do that, have... but... So you have so you have limit limit uh, limitless blue extreme thock as thock extreme. And... I only have those in hard. Okay. Alice. Who's Alice? What? She's it's a bartender oh. right next to the guy called Alice. Does she have any quests? Uh, she does. She got four of them, and one of them is locked to me. Oh. Thordin's Reign? Is that the one we're doing? That's yeah. the one. You should Apparently... grab all of them as much as you can, though. Yeah. So, uh, first you have to speak to her, then the uh, minstrel. Gotcha. Mm. But he himself has a quest. It's been a hot minute since I, I unlocked these duties, so it's 
I knew it's it was kind of around years. there, but... Yeah, it's been a few years. Yeah, Heaven's Word for me was three and a half years ago, I think. Yeah, yeah I just finished it this afternoon, so... <laughs> nice. <laughs> so now it should be good. Now I got the duty unlocked message. All right, and this is the bird we're shooting for. Well, eventually. That is a pretty bird. I like mounts. Which eventually turn, get a, once you get all the birds, you get this bird. That one's prettier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they call it a fire bird because they can't call it Phoenix because Phoenix was already used in the story. Hmm. But the players just call it Phoenix because it's a Phoenix. It's definitely Phoenix. not a Phoenix. <laughs> Definitely not Blitzcrank. I mean, I'm pretty sure it even has the like the same type of like body thing as Suzaku. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, I think the Suzaku ads are just recycled Firebird uh, sprites with a, a recoloration. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I sh I should be all set now. Hopefully. Right. Three, two, one, potato. potato. Hot damn. Yay. Yeah, stop messing it up, everybody. That's all right. This is how you learn. No, it's not okay. You're supposed to do it right every single time. What's wrong <laughs> with you? We've never wiped, ever. Especially not on live stream. Especially oh, not 50 yeah. times to Memoria Mizera. I blame have... uh, for leadership. Hey, Kai. Yo. Remember the last time we were in here? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I do. And we had a lower level player? Yeah, I party? do. Yeah. And you tried to kill them. Yeah. <laughs> that was Toric. Yeah. And you kept uh, marking him with the the getaway marker. <laughs> I wonder if one day we'll do enough damage that we can nuke Thordin before he phase changes. That'd be hilarious. Oh, well, now we find out. Before Knights of the Round goes off. Oh, my frames. The struggle is real. Oh, you bitch. So close. I just activated in Inner Beast. <laughs> yep. Or Inner Release, I'm sorry. Inner Beast is what it used to be called. I'm sitting at uh, five stacks of Boonshin that are all just going to fall off. Towers. Nobody wants to paralyze. Okay, I guess everybody wants to paralyze. I mean, we didn't get uh, one, so... <laughs> okay, never mind. Alright. His attack is unavoidable, and it takes a lot longer than I thought to go off. Dragoon yeah. coming across? Yep. Yeah. That fray joined the fray. We yay knockbacks. Oh, the pools don't kill you instantly. No, they that... deal nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine damage, which is not enough to matter anymore. Not to a tank. <laughs> well, not to anybody anymore. Oh. I mean, even Atomi has got almost sixty k health. These guys are just getting deleted. I'm gonna stand in the middle. Chase it. Go after the person with the red marker. Yep. Says a lot in common with uh, the Final Fantasy VII incarnation of Knights of the Round in that it takes about four minutes. Jason told me with that thing. Jason told me with the tethers. <laughs> it did not yeah. kill me, surprisingly. I think it's actually somewhat hard to die in here. That's yeah. Seems like it. Unless you're synced, and then it's very easy. Attack. So far, to date, I have only gotten one Thornton EX trap party on Mentor Roulette. 
Uh, it's not a popular choice. Previously, I think the one that was leading the pack was... Um... Oh, oh, that pushes you the other direction. I didn't know that. Yeah. So if you go behind the sword, it'll push you in the other direction. Yeah, oh, I found yeah. that out a while back. Because we started getting meme with it. Because, you know. But uh, I was not expecting that on this one. So yeah, my, my tracker had a tie between Shiva and Ramu as the trap parties that I would get the most often. But in this past week, it has solidly jumped to Titan being in the lead. Titan EX. <laughs> Just everybody I doing Titan. I don't want any of that loot. I'm leaving. You can't give it to me. I won't take it. <laughs> Everyone leave the duty before Shion can. Too late. <laughs> Fastest quit in the West. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of room to do actual DPS. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Whoops. I really want to try this. I'm doing it. Do what? No heals. I'll tank. I don't think we need a healer. <laughs> I don't think we do either, and even if we did clemency. <laughs> so... I mean, touche. I mean, I just heal myself. Pu through um, pure, unadulterated rage. That's the best type of healing. Mm. <laughs> she just broods her HP back. <laughs> I'm not tanking. You bitch. Don't even get through my open. I know. Nobody can Asuna. It's alright, I'll just give everybody a shield. Boop. Sorry, there's nothing to DPS for the next 17 seconds anyway, so... I'm just gonna sit down here. <laughs> She'll get pinballed around. I love it. I remember doing this fight with like three people in early Shadowbringers, uh, and it wasn't doable with one tank and two DPS because we couldn't separate the two adds just there. Just like I'm just gonna lay here and get all the free like mount credits towards her uh, panther. Oh wow, that actually hurt a little bit. That yeah, almost oh, killed Saren. Just there saying. We go. I just healed myself back up.
Oh, it's coming over there we missed. Oh. Uh, I oh, I told me you died. Yeah, I got stunned and then I got hit with uh, don't stand in the bed. Easily remedied. Alright. That was me. Cannot knock back immunity, those. Nope. Oh. That light's too bright. I'll second that. <laughs> Saren slapping him to death. <laughs> <laughs> Cain of the heavens. Leave. You can't make me. <laughs> Whoever gets caught with the loot has to be a blue mage next run. <laughs> I mean, I'll do it now. <laughs> he doesn't even give you anything, does he? No. No, I don't think I mean, so. I like my blue mage. My blue mage, if I'm not mistaken, is still glamoured to look like Joseph Joestar. Let me check. <sighs> yep. The hat's not quite right, right because there's not very many hats available, but... I yeah. what my blue mage setup looks like. Joseph Joestar. Oh my god! My, my blue mage just looks like a pimp. I'll have you know I've seen Lords of Arabia 12 times! <laughs> anyway. See? Pimp. Let's, uh, Paladin. I would ask if anybody needs repairs, but I kind of seriously doubt it. Oh, I'm doing it as a blue mage. Let's go. <laughs> I thought that was the plan. <laughs> if he dies, I don't know. You have to play Bard. Who has to play Bard? It's a fate worse than enough. <laughs> I was going to say, Xion used to main Bard back in the day. Forever and a Kuhn's age ago. He can't decide who he wants to hit right now. No. Alright, time for tank saints. Can't have it. I didn't even have tank saints on. Nope. <laughs> and it was mine. <laughs> Alright, everyone say Shion with every marker you have. He can just diamond back okay. through it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. That's paralysis. That's a shame. Shion didn't get his diamond back up fast enough. No. Now he's stuck up there like, like a marble. Can we push him? Nah. No. Push the marble. That'd be a new strat. Pinball time. Oh, hey, I got hit by something. <laughs> Devastation. <laughs> this was definitely my intention. I'm just in Paladin for the glams right now. This armor is so shiny. Also, the Knights of the Round are as tall as the Asians. Very true. Just super tall for God knows what reason. Probably for the same reason that the Alligans are like 15 feet tall, just because they're easier to target that way. Well, cause magic. It's like that. Um, 
that meme that just has Cryo looking like the aliens guy, and she just goes, Alligans. Oh, found it. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Oof. Guess who has to play Bard next time? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of cheating, but I'll do it. <laughs> Why is it cheating? Because <laughs> you forced me to die. Uh, that's the whole point. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna help, guy. I can dream, okay? Knocked out of his wings. Got knocked out of diamond back too. The big sad. And back in the diamond. That's a big ass shield. Damn. <laughs> That's another whole one of your life bars right there. He's being a little stingy tonight, huh? Yeah. I think he's upset because we're just memeing him. <laughs> if we could all go as botanists, we would do that. We would 100% do that. I'd do it. I have 49 of these uh, helm fragments. Hack just hack away at his kneecaps. What is that symbol on your shield there, Kai? I have... like a, a, ser a, a winged staff with a serpent around it. I have no idea. It just came with it. Like Hermes' staff? The staff of Hermes Transmegistus. Trismegistus. What? From Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay then. I didn't get that far. Oh. Well, alright then. That would explain your stunned silence. <laughs> like I told you, it's like I can. The farthest I got was getting to the island where my mom was. Oh, okay. Other than that, I can't stick with that game long enough. I'm not quite done with the game. I don't know how close I am to the end, but I'm at the Olympics at this point. Hey, nobody no paralysis. Yeah, nobody likes paralysis. Yeah, I think that's um, one of those universally debilitating debuffs. Like, nobody's like, oh, I don't care if I have paralysis. I can operate just fine. Here's a challenge. Everyone stand in the center, and if you uh, get ping-balled, and if you don't get knocked into the thing, you win. I, I don't think that's how that works at all. No? The pinballs just don't cancel each other out? No. Ah, uh, shame. Well, someone just deleted Sir Adolfell. <laughs> I got a Verk here for, three, for 30k. I healed myself with Equilibrium for 58. Equilibrium is very strong. I'll stand with you, Tomia. <laughs> Even with a lot of determination, um, Verkir is like, it struggles. Like, you can get there, but it's gonna be a lot of work. Filthy rats, away with you. Sickness must be purged. For Alamigo? 
Sloppy. Just heal myself. Okay, all good. I think they just looked at this fight and went, how can we make this the most annoying phase possible? Bunch of little knockbacks that don't do any damage but won't let you cast anything. That sounds like the perfect way. There's nothing to target during that time anyways. Right? Well, it's like you can't even really heal yourself during that because you're just going to interrupt your cast over and over and over again. Swift cast. Uh, I mean, it'll work once. All you need light speed Astro. light speed would work I'm sure um eos can heal just fine <laughs> yeah that's really the only healer you need the other green dps that too I like the bow yeah, I forget what uh, raid I got it in. That's uh, Garuda's bow, is it not? I don't think so. I think that one glows, this one doesn't. Uh, well, or, you have the or normal... Or are getting a mix? You have the, the regular version of the bow, which is not glowy, and then you have the crafted version, which is glowy. Hmm. Uh... So I saw the glowy one, I was like, ooh, I want that. And it was like 3 mil on the marketplace. I was like, I don't have 3 mil to waste on it. Oh, that should not be Why is that, that is... so expensive? Yeah. What? That is... I think it was the only one. Oh, because yeah. nobody's selling them, so somebody's like, oh, it must be worth as much as I say it is, right? That's what I would do. We can, uh, at some point, we can do Garuda with you, because it takes about a minute and a half. Yeah, I was just curious with Bard. Um, the the level 70 crap is um, on sale, so I was like, yeah, I don't want to level Bard, so I'll, I'll buy it. Everyone just buys tone gear anyway. Huh? Wait, did... Oh, did you buy a level skip? Is that what you said, Tony? Yeah, for Bard. Hey, for Bard. Oh, oh, I thought you said that. When I thought you said it was on sale, I thought you meant the gear, like crafted gear for level 70. No, no, no. The, the actual, like, B level 70, it's like. 20% off or something. Oh, neat. I was like, you know what? I don't feel like leveling Bard. I'm, I'm willing to throw. I think it was like 17 bucks. Huh. I mean, I can, I can understand the sentiment because it's Bard. But not really. Oh, I got hit by multiples. Womp womp. Poor Frey just hanging out. This fight gives you plenty of time to just think about nothing. It's not even like the one. Sharon burned too hard. Oh. <laughs> Brooded so hard she burst a blood vessel in her head. Had an aneurysm from sheer angst. That's on me. Spiral Pierce. Well, on the upside, uh, if we decide to reschedule our run of uh, Delta Escape Savage, all of the mechanics are now in the Help and Guides chat on our Discord, so. Yeah. 
Though, um, I also watched the, the, the guide and I'm just like, eh, that's gonna be a lot of stress. Grand Cross, I think, is gonna be the, the main issue. I'm just thinking, like, you know, we're gonna... Like, I'm hoping we're just gonna skip most of it, but, you know. Yeah, a lot of the mechanics we'll be able to skip through, but, uh, we're... Like, we won't be able to skip Grand Cross entirely. We're gonna get hit with at least one of the two, and probably both. Unfortunately. Uh, is that a response to what Saren put in chat? No, I just... I was continuing the initial thought there. It's a bird. It's a bird. bird. Huzzah! I don't know why I'm rolling on anything. I don't want any of it. <laughs> Get me out of here. I finally hit my my first uh, 510 decent, and it was perhaps unsurprisingly on Goldsmith. All those accessories. So many accessories. <laughs> True, uh, Tomia got the bird. Nice. Yep, that's cool. All Very right. nice. Bird's out. Bird's out for Atomia. Wait, what? <laughs> Low Ake is out. Um... <laughs> He's got to think about that one. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to find the bird in my pile of mounts. There it is. Kai's got looking through his mounts like someone looks through box uh, box 12 in their poke, uh, oh, this in bird Pokemon. This bird is nice. Yeah. <laughs> Shio knows about that life, right? <laughs> I'll agree with Saren. At least the mounts are grouped together. I also have 75 mounts and struggle to find them in my blist. <laughs> oh, you know what that means? Sorry. You know what that means, though, is that the next time we get a mount, we're going to get a page four, Saren. My OCD is very happy with the fact that um, I have three pages and they're all full. Okay. Alright, so Atomia got the mount. Who else needs to get this mount? Uh, hey. Hosman Kuro? Yeah, I do. I mean, you can have the superior mount owner title. I'm just going to suffer for the next thousand years getting the only mount that I care about right now. The Black Pegasus? No. Astrophy. Oh. I mean, at least you got Ozma. How many more people in this in this FC are going to be able to get Ozma? Uh, well, Faye got it before I did. Um, I don't know who else has Ozma, to be honest. Exactly. I think we're the only two people dumb enough to do Baldessian's arsenal. Trying to see if TBM survive, uh, blocks the damage back there. Oh, she Atomia now! All these tanks, and I'm the only one tanking. <laughs> It's the reverse of uh, Alliance Raid. Oh, yeah. I mean, I could uh, I could provoke fight you if you want. Give you the real Alliance Raid experience. Nah, I'll just wait until you use up yours. Then I'll use mine. And, you know, and then I'll just spin cycle and there you go. 
been to win. This hurts so much. And there are so many particle effects in this arena. I don't have a headache, but yeah, I could almost get one looking at it. The only reason I'm putting up Shake It Off is just so we can laugh we can laugh in his face even more because he's unleashing his ultimate ability and he's literally doing no damage. Sucks to suck, man. I don't know how I feel about the music, to be honest with you. Like he does his ultimate attack and then the music gets really like kinda placid sounding. Yeah. Is he casting next around again? Fuck you. The worst of all for me is that piano jazz in Academia Nighter. It's absolutely unrelated to fighting. I know, it's so <laughs> weird. <laughs> Academia's weird with the weird radio sound effects, and then Animensis is weird too. It's you get the weird like saxophone jazz going on while you're on the the ride down and you're like what is what is going on i have to uh go put my kid to bed i'll be back probably on the next one or the one after okay okay good okay. luck with that thanks bedtime savage yeah <laughs> child rearing ultimate Oh, man. I'm not even bothering to put up my Storm's Eye buff. He disappears at 50% pretty much no matter what we do, so... 57 that time. I wonder... I wonder if there's a skip strat with him where if you let him get to a certain part in the rotation, um, if you can blitz him down to zero before he transitions. Kind of like Biako, you know? Yeah. Saren just got pinballed and she didn't, didn't get pushed into the wall. I'm not sure what determines what direction you're gonna go because. Because oh, se it seems kind of random. The Pokeball has returned. I'm taking this guy over here. Or he's just gonna do whatever he feels like because he's annoying. There we go. Let's 
so flashy. Oh, so it's a bleed for 99k, or not 99k, uh, 10k, as long as you're in the outside ring. You'd have to stand there for a hot minute to die. So, probably because I've done, I want to say, seven Heroes Gauntlet runs tonight, I've been thinking a lot about um, jobs for the next expansion, and how everybody's talking about uh, Necromancer being potentially one of them. Yeah, uh, me and Saren were kind of talking about that earlier, and it's like... If they go on the same pattern they've been on, it's going to be a caster and it's going to be a healer, right? So she thinks we're going to get like a um, like a pharmacist or whatever you want to call it. Chemist? Pop carry. Yeah. Because there's like one of the last quest side quests we got was this, late, this girl, or 5.3 story quest or whatnot. There's this girl who wants to be the warrior of light apothecary. Yeah, um... Oh gosh, what's her name? I know who you're talking about, though. Uh, I'm pretty sure Time Mage is going to be there. Simply because they've been ramping it up with, um... Shadowbringers. I guess, uh... I'd be interested to see how they're going to make Time Mage work, to be honest. It's probably just going to be something where we're, you know, where a certain character shows, you know, tells us how he, they used to do it, and then we master it because we're better than them. But yeah, I could definitely see Chemist being a good uh, new healer job. Hands down, it, it would be hard to think of one that would work better. I still think Time Mage could be a good healer. I guess, but it would be... It would break so much with the history of the job that it's almost kind of, like... Almost insulting. Mm. You know, because their whole thing is... You know, status effects obviously haste and slow, along with stop, immobilize, silence, stuff like that. But also, um... Break. Demi, Meteor... Break. For them to be like, oh, I'm healing you by rewinding the damage is like, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. Yeah. Still, we do definitely need a new healer. Like, we've needed a healer for an entire expansion. <laughs> yeah, because they decided to give us a tank and a ranged physical. Instead of a tank and a healer, you know? Yeah. Well, we... Didn't have an abundance of, of ranged physical, you know? No, but we had an abundance of DPS, period. Sure, I guess, but... Just by virtue of the fact that you need more DPS than you need healers and tanks, there kind of needs to be more jobs for more variety. Uh, I got clipped. This is fine. Why you do this to me, Kai? Hmm? Why you do this to me? 
what, let you get smacked by two of those? Yeah, why do you hold them both over here? Um, I didn't have either of them. I don't oh, have tank stance on, so... Uh... I've been taunting one away once they get their buff. Uh... Saren, was, Saren just told me that you did have one of them. Oh, yeah, because I provoked it after he popped his buff thing, but... Yeah. <laughs> Surprised people aren't crying to get, like, these weird Dragoon helmets that they have. Are they not a thing that you can get? I don't really nope. play Dragoon. I know there's a lot of weird-ass helmets from, uh... Late Heaven's Word. Like, the stuff from, uh, What is it, the Armory? The Armory? The Vault. That's the word I'm looking for. Ah, uh, yeah. That place. Some of the armor you can get from the Vault is, is pretty weird. Yeah. But yeah, my original point with, um with Necromancer is it would be kind of interesting for them to actually do some work with the zombie mechanic because I don't think that's really been a thing. Yeah, we were watching a video earlier about uh, it was kind of like a mean guide to Dark Knight but it was actually a pretty good, a pretty good guide anyway. Um, but uh, the, guy who, the guy in the video was t said something that was interesting. Most jobs in the Final Fantasy XIV universe are actually illegal. Right? Like, like from warriors, the game's lore standpoint, you mean? Yeah, like Warrior's illegal, Dark Knight's illegal, Black Mage is illegal. Yep. Um, White Mage isn't technically illegal, but it's highly exclusive. Yeah. Um, Machinist was not really wasn't even a real job before we showed up. Yep. Um, ninja is just specialized. Same with Samurai. Yeah. I mentioned Black Mage already. Yep. Uh, summoner is illegal. Oh yeah, Back. kind of. It. I mean, it's come making a comeback, but it was... Um, when you pick it up, it's it's really on the legal gray spectrum there. Yeah, because it was uh, it was banned by the Allegan scholars. Yep. Because summoning magic is what brought about brought around the Allegan calamity. Um. What other jobs are there that are illegal? Basically, warrior. Yeah, I mentioned warrior. Actually, you know, there's not really that many jobs that are illegal, but there is quite a few. It's like almost 50 50, I think. And then my spin cycle. Can't do anything about that. We got him down to 55 that time. Um. Am I missing any jobs? Because Bard's not illegal, it's just, you know, there's not very many of them. Paladin obviously is used by um, the Sultana. The Sultan's Breath. Or Sultan's Guard? So Those guys. You're, you're, you're just, like, letting Hosen get, in, get smacked by that chain. You talking to me? No, oh, Saren. I was gonna say, I was like, no, I broke my chain, like, immediately. Yeah. Um, no, Dancer's not really illegal. legal, that was uh, a first thing. Just not yeah. a source thing. I, I mean, I guess it's a source thing, but... Yeah, because the trainer's from the source. Yeah, but I mean, they... It's introduced on the first, is what I'm getting at. Yeah. And over here. Um... Yeah, Monk and Gunbreaker are just things that just, like, kind of almost died out. Yeah. You must carry so, on the ways of Eld. Yeah, it's not like they're illegal, it's just that they kind of, you know, they almost died. Um, 
Dragoon obviously is very is just an elite group in his guard. Yep. Um Scholar? I don't Scholar's know a forgotten is. forgotten art of okay, so uh not... Nim. So it's not illegal, it's just again forgotten. Yeah. The time. What are we talking about? Uh, How classic. a lot of the jobs are either forgotten uh, disciplines or they're straight up illegal or both. Yeah. Is this like a reference to Dark Knights kind of thing? Kind of, but then like Warrior is illegal. Like we mentioned, Black, uh, 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 Black Mage is illegal. Uh, Summoner. Um... Yep, Summoner. You're missing Red Mage. Is Red Mage illegal? No. It's a forgotten art. Yeah, it's one of those ones where it's most of the people that were practitioners have been killed through the ages and they're trying to rebuild the order and yada yada. But why are they illegal? Who? All the illegal classes? Well, Is it just dark? different reasons for different ones. Like, Black Mages have been outlawed because they were linked to one of the previous calamities. Um, same thing with summoners. Same thing with summoners. Uh, warrior was illegal. Was uh, made illegal simply because of people losing yeah. control of their inner beast and just straight up murdering people. Yep. Yay, berserkers! Um, Dark Knight is illegal because it was illegalized by the um, Ishgardian theocracy. To be fair, there's a lot of stuff that's illegal in Ishgard. I rolled a 99 on that. Why? Uh, because I'm going to descent it. Okay. Because um, I have very low blacksmith and uh, carpenter descent levels. Yeah. Yeah, there's very few jobs that are actually like... There's a, there's a whole... Supposed to be a whole mess of them. The only ones that are supposed to have a that are supposed to be have copious amounts in their order are paladin, dragoon, ninja, and samurai. Are there other dragoons besides us? There's supposed to be. There's supposed to be the whole dragoon order in Ishgard. Yeah, I thought they were just lancers. Well, there's lancers, but I think there's also supposed to be like elite lancers that are dragoons like there's the azure dragoon which implies that they are more special than other dragoons yeah and they also talk about like if you uh, just talking uh, some of the quests and some of the fates and also like just listening to some of the npcs in ishgard they talk about the order of dragoons and you know how they you know they're the protectors of ishgard and all this other stuff like they're supposed to be a whole mess of them in ishgard it's just that you never see them and I guess according to lore, there you don't see them because they're on top of the freaking spires, just looking out for dragons. You know how dragons do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then again, most of the other classes are or jobs are just. Um, You know, just dead, dying, or somewhere in between. Yeah, I think there. It would be easier to name the jobs that were not either straight up illegal or lost, mythical, forgotten arts. Yeah, like that's why I said paladin, dragoon, samurai, ninja. Yep. And well, and, and dancer. In that gray area. Yeah. You know, well, dancer just doesn't have a lot of them. Well, not in Eorzea, but they're uh, they're very popular, as I understand it, in the Near East. So there's not a I ton was, here, but... I thought it was something like, if, with a dancer quest, it was something like... Um, like, a, 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 like another boss art or something. That was my understanding. I may not be remembering all of the quest dialogue, but I don't remember getting that impression. Like... The dancing troupe that you're with, they're special because they have, like, a certain dancing art that they can do. Like, 
dancing as a as a form of combat, I think, is more common in the in the Near East than it is in Eorzea. Oh, oh, I completely forgot about Astros. Oh, yeah. They're pretty commonplace in Ishgard. Yeah. And machinists are just, they're a fledgling job, so... Yeah, they're they are still really new. We helped build the order of machinists, so... There's that. They, they were just, you know, pirates and shit. Pirates. No. I mean, originally, if you look around, uh, like, a, if you look around Glimsa, you'll see signposts for, with the sign of two, of cross pistols. And everyone thought that instead of ninja, we're supposed to get, like, a gunslinger or some sort of class like that. Or uh. we're gonna play a duelist. Because again, it's in the sh it's in the shape of like all the other job uh, or um, class icons. Oh, you switched to black mage? I guess that is. <laughs> Just thinking about other jobs or job stand-ins that they've had in other games that they haven't included in some way and then i was laughing because um we haven't done mascot <laughs> <laughs> there hasn't been a, a mammoteer or a puppeteer honestly that would be um that would be a pretty cool next job to see it's just that pets are so weird in this game yeah i would love to have beastmaster but i don't want it as a limited job like blue mage I stand by what I said about how if we get Beastmaster, it, it will not, not only be a limited job, but it's going to be this whole, like, all of the content is finding mobs to tame, like, Riders of Icarus or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I, just, I don't like that idea at all. Neither I do I. <laughs> but I, I definitely see them doing it, because they want to create more solo content. In an MMO, right, okay. I just, I'm struggling to, and I know this comes full circle back to what started this topic in the first place, but I struggle to find ways that they could implement the Necromancer that would bring anything really new to the table. Like, I mean, it depends on how they man it, like, how they think they're going to implement, like, the, the abilities of the class. Yeah, and like, I mean, I admittedly, would... I don't know a lot about it, because I've never played the particular port of 5 that included Necromancer, but... From what I've seen, it appears to be a combination of pet DPS and the undead mechanic, which is like, I don't know how you would make that work. Yeah, I mean, I can imagine it being a lot more like another dot heavy type class or something like that, or a caster class. You know what would be kind of neat is a, uh, a channel cast DPS. That's you... what I've been saying this whole fucking time. <laughs> I could see Necromancer being pretty good with that. You throw your dot on, and then you throw your channel spell on, where you, like... Um, what the hell does... I didn't play a Warlock in WoW, so I don't remember what the hell the name of the ability is, but... Um, You're talking about Shadow Priest. I am? I am? My, mind Flay. Okay, yep. Yeah. But I like, thought Warlocks like... had one that was, like, they stole life continuously as long as you were channeling. Well, they have Life Tap, but I think that's a... No, they have Soul, life, uh, soul Siphon? That might be what I'm thinking of, where, it, like, you channel for four or five seconds and just you're doing damage the whole time, like, constant ticks while you're channeling it. That'd be interesting. That'd be a blatant ripoff with WoW, though. Yeah, sure, but, I mean, when has that mattered? Um, yeah, oh, I mean, WoW's blatantly ripped off shit from Final Fantasy already. True. I mean, WoW's existence is ripping other things off. Yeah, it's... Well, WoW's never had an original idea. They just do it well. Yeah. Until, you know, uh, what was it? Uh, Battle for Azeroth. I hear nothing but bad things from that expansion. 
I don't know. I've just been out of WoW for so long that I can't even bring myself to care anymore. Yeah. Like, I think it would be a nice, it would be a fun distraction to go in there with, like, a group of friends and just level through and, like, level that character through WoW. No, I, I'm fine with never doing that again. <laughs> Agreed. I mean, I've never, I've never gotten, I've never had a max level character. Ah, so. uh, okay. I, I went hard at the end of Cataclysm and through most of Mist of Pandaria, having uh, two max level characters, maxed fishing, maxed crafting, maxed first aid. Just, nope. I'm all set. <laughs> never again. That was actually where I got into hardcore heroic rating was uh, Cataclysm. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I, I seriously do think it would be a nice change of pace to have a casting class that instead of waiting for a cast bar to finish to release a spell, the spell's released instantly, but you... You, know, you do sustained DPS. Yeah, while the cast bar is going off. Yeah. I think that'd be a, a neat flip, honestly. Yeah. And it's like, you know, if you it, it's like if you move, well, okay, your cast is your channel is canceled. Yeah, like, it goes it puts your spell on uh, on recast timer as soon as you start channeling. So, after you've channeled for a certain number of seconds, you could move and then recast it and it wouldn't matter too much. But like if you have to move a lot, then uh, you're going to struggle. Yeah. Like any cast. Uh, there's yeah. going to be a lot of cheesing involved in that class. Yep. No slide casting. It's, it's a sustained DPS. And obviously they should have OGCDs and dots. Yeah. You know, for your maneuvering mechanics and whatnot. Your equivalent of... Um, scathe? Scathe, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Like, you have, like, a grass... Like, say, like, a grasping hand spell or something like that. Mm. And... I think in order to keep it interesting, you would have to have um, each of the channel casts or something. Like you, you would have regular cast abilities, right? Yeah. That would, like you said, place dots, and kind of like somewhere, the more dots you have, the more damage you deal with your channel at the end. And I thought, I think, I mean, personally, uh, just uh, have if that, like, say at the end of the channel, if you finish the entirety of the channeling, it should have one big burst at the end of it. Yeah, where it consumes like all the dot, the uh, uh, remaining time on the dots, and oh, just that would be neat. the raw damage. Deals but, damage equal to ten seconds worth of ticks from the dots that are applied or whatever. Yeah, and then you have to go and re, and then the rotation is reapplying the dots through regular cast timers, and then again you just have a big damaging channel beam that you have to stand still for. That would be kind of neat. And, you know, make it like an extended type of time, like an extended cast. Uh, Shion, did you want to jump back in? I'm meeting right now, so can we oh, okay. move okay. more fight? You should be good. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, like make it like instead of like a 2.5 second uh, channel, you know, make it, you know, three or even four, or however long you think you could actually get away with. I'm also, um, I'm also kind of selling myself on this on this idea of like getting a uh, like a rune knight, like a melee ma uh, melee caster type class. I've been saying that since Heaven's Word because stuff like Mystic Knight, Red Mage, Rune Knight, I love those. Like I live to be a spell sword, uh, and I would love to be a little bit more melee than even than Red Mage is because Red Mage is just a caster with a a transition phase. Yeah. You know. Like you know how uh, death knights in WoW, you build, you would you, uh, build runes for your abilities, and then you would consume those runes to use stronger abilities. Yeah. I was thinking like that'd be actually kind of cool. Like it's like you have uh, like a mystic knight or a rune knight or something would be something like you instead of having like a regular a regular melee combo, you'd have a cast combo in okay. melee range. 
where you're channeling magic uh, ether through your through your sword or through your weapon or whatever and they decide to make it. Uh, and then you have kind of like with samurai, you have seals or runes that each combo would then unlock, and then you can use those runes in a certain pattern to unlock certain uh, to unlock bigger abilities. But instead of having instant you know melee combos, you have cast combos. The potency on that on those attacks once you've weaved everything together would be stupidly large i mean that'd be fine so you're that'd talking about having uh kind of the opposite of a burst it's like set up set up set up set up it's set basically up, big dancer, burst all, but like all dancer like the yeah uh, what do you want to call it like the technical finish but that's like your whole rotation yeah yeah interesting or kind of like a ninja but always ninja I don't follow on that one. <laughs> like doing the hand signs? Oh, so it's just all jutsu all the time. Yeah. Yeah, except for in each hand sign is an actual attack and a combo. So, actually, kind of, kind of samurai, in a nutshell, because that's yeah, kind yeah. of midare. Is is oh, three whole yeah. combos? That the the summon like the spell thing to do would actually deal damage. So, yeah, so, like, you'd be swinging your sword, but before you would swing the sword, you would be channeling ether into it to, you know, to actually unleash your attack. Right, with the, e and the so the ether channeling would do damage when you're channeling. Uh, well, after it's done channeling. So it's like you're casting a spell into the sword, and then you would swing the sword in a combo. Or you would swing the sword to do, like, the first hit of your combo. And it so it'd be, like, a, a mix of a pure caster. Because you'd have to stand still to, ca to cast the spell onto your sword or onto your weapon and then swing it to unleash the magic, hmm. right? And you, this is all in melee range. And then say you get three, you have a three-hit combo. At the end of the three-hit combo, you get a rune that is etched into your sword. And then you could use those runes. Uh, it, like if you d You'd have to use the runes in a certain pattern to unlock certain attacks. So kind of like a mix of samurai and, nin and uh, um, ninjas and ninjutsu. Yep, Saren was with me on this one, and that that's basically samurai. Yeah, yeah, it, it kind of it, it, it's a little bit like I said, it's a little bit of like mixing a caster with samurai and uh, and with ninja. Hmm. Where you have the seals like samurai, but then you have to you have to do your combos in a certain pattern, like you would hand signs with ninja i gotcha i gotcha um and each, and each pattern would have a different effect i do need to step away for a minute um possibly a few minutes we've had a little bit of a development irl uh that i need to go and deal with so i'm going to promote somebody to party lead and aries got to go lay down so i hope you feel better Ari. Uh, but okay. i am gonna put the stream on a brief intermission here and i will pass the lead to drexus and drop out just for a few minutes. Okay. I will be back. Okay.
Hello, my friends. Hello. So what business are you signing us up into? What are you talking about? He said something about, you know, business will be will be ready in a few minutes. Oh, yes. I was shouting something to Nizara. There's, uh... The IRL situation should be resolved shortly. I was just trying to turn it into a joke. Crickets. <laughs> I know, right? So, Kai, do you think we can melt him before he starts doing his whole uh, nice of the round BS if we had all eight DPS? I feel like probably not, because if, unless I'm mistaken, the only animation lock he has is casting Dragon Eye. And even even going full burst, we only knock him down to about half HP during that attack. So I think if we had 8 DPS, we might be able to get him to like maybe 20-30%, but I don't think we can skip him. Yeah, we got him to 47 just now. But that was, a, I think that was the lowest we've got. Yeah. But... As Saren said, she googled. There's nothing. Yeah, I think it will be probably another expansion or two. By the time we can do enough damage to just melt him before he can do anything. Uh, Hosen got the bird, by the way. Oh, nice. I'm glad another one dropped. I agree with Saren. It may be a force mechanic. Um... But I, I think he has to get through Dragon's Eye first. It's just that that doesn't take very long. So there's a very, very small window that you'd have to absolutely delete the boss. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like classes like Monk, Machinist, um, Dancer. Those types of classes that just put out insane amounts of damage in their opening. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't want something like a Dragoon or a Samurai because they actually need like a couple of rotations to get um, to get the for, the for, uh, their full burst out. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> it's it's been a day. Could just yeah. run seven machinists and one uh, gunbreaker. Yeah, I think because um, it's like if you look at. Um, a great example is Titan, not Titan, uh, Ifrit EX. Hellfire is a force mechanic. Um, he'll do that at certain HP thresholds. It's just that you can blitz him through them. And we had one run where we had so much damage that um, we got him down to like 30% and then deleted the last 30% before he could go invulnerable. So we never yeah. saw a Hellfire. Yeah, it's, it's just that you have to kill him before he goes invulnerable. Yeah. And I, I think that's going to be doable with Thordan. I just, I don't think it's doable in the current meta. Because we could go 8 DPS right now, but I, I'm willing to bet you money that we're at most going to get him down into the high teens for percentage, and he's yeah. still going to transition. Yeah, but even if we had like a dancer and a ninja and a whole mess of machinists, hell, even black mage, black mage can get their DPS out relatively quick nowadays. They don't need a lot of setup anymore. Have I lost my mind, or did Requis get not do what it's supposed to do right there? I don't know. Did it? I popped it, and then it didn't make my Holy Spirit's uh, instant cast at all. Was your mana under 80%? Might have been. Oh, okay. Yep. I've never actually read the full, like, effect of that before. That's interesting. 
Yeah, yeah. I, no. I hate when I do that by accident because then I start casting on like oh. Uh, Yep. You can tell I, I don't main Paladin. You know, initially I hated what they did with MP, but, um... It, it grew on me after a while. It's a lot easier to keep track of who has how much for what when everybody has 10k max MP. Yeah, plus you don't have to worry about melding MP into your gear anymore. Oh my god, yes. I remember the first time I logged in when the stat squish happened and I freaking panicked because I was like, what am I supposed to do? I have so little MP now. I also especially like how um, the MP bars in the the party list in the top left functions basically as a percentage now. So it's like, oh, you have 98% MP right now. Three thirty-three. Nani. That was our completion time. Ah. 3 minutes and 33 seconds. Thinking back on it, which one of the Heavensward Bird Farms had the fastest clear time? Um, uh, I'd want to say it was Ravana. Ravana very well could be. I can kill Ravana in about three and a half, four minutes solo on Red Mage, so. Really does. Uh oh. Drax is DCing. So is Saren. Oh, he's back. Kayam's not here, so the curse moved to somebody else. R.I.P. Surprisingly, Post Mughal was on time tonight. We've had some issues with him. He's been real lazy lately. Did you uh, take away some of his cuckoo nuts? Yeah, I, I had to put him on a diet until he started doing his job more uh, effectively. Putting on a diet means starving to death. As motivation to actually do his shit. I remember I was doing my Kai Plays segment this past uh, Thursday, and the segment starts at 8 o'clock. So I went live at uh, 7.55 just to do the, the pre-stream preamble there. And then uh, he decided that a good time to announce that, hey, Kai has gone live, was 9.06 p.m. <laughs> and I was like, that doesn't help anybody. This segment's only an hour long. Yeah. Does it bother, uh, does it bother you that, I put the, that I've been announcing mine in general? No. No, that's fine. Okay. Still salty down here. I know. I was looking forward to it too, because it's like you hear all these things about Nier, and it's like, oh shit, I get to play now. I've heard good things about it. I've, I've never played it or its precursor. I played the precursor, but I couldn't get into it. It was, it was just one of those weird. I can't remember the director, the, develop, the director's name, but it was very him. Yokotaro. Yes. Like he also did the Dragon Guard games, right? Yeah, as far as I know. Yeah. So Dragon Guard One, I played the shit out of. Right. And but that game is just so freaky and so weird because you know you have a bunch of alien babies being birthed from the sky, coming down to eat everyone. That's pretty bizarre. Yeah. And Dragon Guard 1 is a precursor to Nier because it's what uh, shows the origin of the, the plague or whatever it is that destroyed civilization in the first Nier. And I guess in Nier Automata as well. 
because yeah. in drag continues is sorry for the joke game. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't hear you. Years go goes on after the joke ending or Dragon Dark Two. Oh, after Dragon Guard. Uh, okay. Yeah. Because I know in Dragon Guard One, if you get all the weapons, uh, the ending, the secret ending you get is you and your dragon break free or um, defeat a certain defeat the 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 mother, the birth mother, which then tears open a rift in time and space and you are transported to the modern age where you are then having to fight uh, the Japanese Air Force over Tokyo. And you ultimately die and as your dragon, you and your, you and your dragon's body hit, touches the earth, it releases this black plague upon the earth. Huh. Which, in, from my understanding of the first Nier, is the same Black Plague that destroyed civilization. Yeah, I never played uh, the Dragon's Guard games or either of the Nier games. Saren will be right back. Okay. But we can continue without her. Okay. Until she does. How many uh, birds do we need? Just one at this point? Just one. Just one. Nice. I enjoy. I really enjoyed the first Dragon Guard because it was kind of like um, a uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Or, not Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Um, I was going to say, now you're speaking my language. Dynasty Warriors? Dynasty Warriors, thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like Dynasty Warriors meet uh, with like a Western fantasy setting. All right. And you can ride a dragon, and you can burn all those hordes of enemies down. Hmm. It was really cool. The game, the court gameplay was fun. The story was fun. Though. Oh wow. This is new. See, like here's Dragon's Eye. And got him so down to thirty-five percent. We could buy more time by a lot by by um, <laughs> slowing some DPS. The DPS. Yeah, theoretically, <laughs> we could let him start that meteor mechanic and then burn him down. But I don't know how close we'd get to killing him before he could finish. Could be worth yeah. a shot for the memes. Yeah. Oof. Uh, paralysis. I was gonna say, talking romance of the three kingdoms, man. That's uh, speaking my language. The only thing I know about romance of the three kingdoms is what I learned from the Dynasty Warriors games. So ROTK um, is very similar to Nobunaga's ambition. Wasn't that the Pokemon crossover title? Uh, yes and no. No, the uh, the crossover is Pokemon Conquest, and that was they combined Nobunaga's ambition with um, just Pokemon. It was a neat but very weird game. <laughs> My introduction to the Dynasty Warriors titles was actually Samurai Warriors Four. Wow, that's uh, that's very very late in the running. That's just the last couple of years here. Oh, what? Oh, wait, no. Then was it Samurai Warriors three? I can't remember. It's, uh, Samurai yeah, Warriors cool. four is the most recent Samurai Warriors like titular installment. Like they've done a couple of games since then, but it's been like four Empires and um, Spirit of the Sonata. Yeah, there was um. Uh, I can't remember. I don't know which one it was, but it was on the GameCube. I think that was probably three or um, God. They had one. It was uh, it had a weird name. Like, I'm trying to remember what it was because they yeah, had one on main, Wii. It was a main number one. It was probably three then. Oh, 
Uh, I, I think it was four. I, I think I got four when it came out because I was actually really excited because I'm like, because I was actually really disappointed with the last few Dynasty Warriors that had come out before it. Yeah. And then yeah. Was, <laughs> and then it's like, oh hey, we got we got Samurai Warriors back. Yay! That just means I get to pick up Hanzo Hattori and Musashi Miyamoto and all my favorite characters from the last one I played. And then I never even bothered because I didn't like the way they had changed the campaigns. I didn't like the fact that every campaign map was chopped up into little bits that were their own individual loading screens. I don't know if I played four. Um, I definitely played all the Warrior Orochi ones. Those ones are fun. I don't think they've screwed any of those up yet. I think it was Samurai Warriors 2 that broke it up into a feudal system where you slowly took over the map. Well, I mean, they have Empire's versions of pretty much every single one of the games. Um, yeah, that was my favorite. Empires is neat. I currently have four Empires. is is the only one that I own on the PS4. Yeah, and then they're coming out with uh, a Persona version of Dynasty Warriors. Interesting. Persona Four Scramble, hmm. or Five Scramble. I've never played a Persona title, so. That doesn't mean a lot to me. Me neither. I play except for five. I played. Uh, it was free on PlayStation. Uh, not PlayStation Plus, but play uh, PlayStation Pass or something like that. PS Now. Yeah, PS Now. Yeah. It was free on PS Now, so I'm like, okay, I've heard a lot of great things, and I played it, and yeah, it's a great game. If my internet was more stable, I would do a lot more with PS Now because when I first got my PS4, um, mm -hmm. we only owned like a couple games for it. Uh, mm -hmm. But I used PS Now to play uh, God of War 3 Remastered, uh, Ghost of Sparta, um, Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch, and just like a bunch of games that I had missed and had not had a chance to buy. Yeah. Well, here's the good thing, Kai. With PS Now, uh, right uh, as it is now. Um, LOL. Yeah, you can actually... If you uh, all you need is a PS Now sub, and you can actually download the title, uh, most of the P, uh, current titles to your system. That I do know. Um, we discontinued our sub because a lot of the games that I was interested in playing were stream only, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Which is the issue I was running into. Like there were some that I could download and then play, but they weren't ones that I was like crazy about. Like I did want to play through the Sly Cooper games that I had missed, but not enough to maintain my sub. That's another series of games that I've never played. Sly Cooper was really good. Uh, I missed the entire PS3 era. So I had a PS2, I played quite a few games for it, and then I switched over to Xbox until literally like two years ago. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Well, kind of, in some ways I'm not sorry, because... There were some Xbox exclusives that took a long time to get to PS3, that and even when they did, they were garbage, in my humble opinion. Such as? Uh, Oblivion is a great example of that. Oblivion was a game that was effectively made for the 360, and then all of the ports had issues. No. I... Did, did he forget to take off the timer? What? I, can you hear me now? Yep. Okay, I can hear you now. I was able to hear you before. <laughs> I Yeah, I asked, like, such as, and then I heard nothing. It was dead. Oh, well, I answered you. Uh, great example is Oblivion, which is a game that was effectively made for the 360, and all of the ports had issues. Ah. I tried playing Oblivion so many times, but... I couldn't get past the jank. Uh, I was so enamored of Morrowind for so many years that I was just thrilled to have a, a continuation of that. Uh, and I was in love with Oblivion for a long time when it was still new. Uh, but it's really hard to go back to. Um, without mods, that is. I, I can imagine. Even with okay. mods, it's tough. It can be, yep. Um, my mods broke about... 14 hours into my most recent playthrough for no reason, and I've reinstalled them six times now. So I'm like, that might be the end of my run because everything's broken and I can't fix it. 
Yeah. Um. I was try. I tried to fire up. Uh, and a um a hard campaign I was running in Mountain Blade Bannerlord 2 the other day. Uh huh. And I've got some mods on there on that playthrough, but they had put they had put out a couple of updates to the core uh, the to the core game. And even though the mod the mod uh, authors had updated for those updates, the game was still was not I wasn't able to continue with that playthrough. Because every time I would try to do something, it would the new code would not recognize or would not recognize something and crash. Oof. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm a little, I was a little upset about that. Haven't touched the game since. That is rough. All right, I have D and D that I gotta go to. Uh, is Saren back by chance? Yeah, she's messing around with her retainers. I don't know if she's joining us back yet or not. You gonna come back in? You don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, yeah, she said just go ahead, invite her. Okay. okay. Enjoy D and D. I will, I will be back eventually. Not before oh. we're done. Oh probably. Hey, bye. 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 Bye-bye. Um, but yeah, so I swapped from PS2 to Xbox 360 in college because at the time, uh, it had Oblivion, it had Dragon Age Origins, it had Left 4 Dead, and it had Halo. And I was like, well, those are a lot of my favorite titles right now, and many, if not all of them, at the time of launch were Xbox exclusive. Um, and I was looking at what they had on PS3, and I was like, I don't, I don't think there's really all that many... PS exclusive games that I want to play. Um, but going from the Xbox 360 to Xbox One to PS4, um, there were a lot of games that I had missed over the years that I wanted to go back to. So like there was the Sly Cooper series, there was the God of War series, and just a few others. And now you have Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, which is on the PC for me. Yeah, but it's only on the PlayStation for consoles. Oh, I did not know that. Interesting. Yep. It's not available on Xbox or Switch. Wow. What about Stadia? Who <laughs> even... Who even has a Stadia? Exactly. People with potatoes? Yeah, yes. Potato I mean, I, farmers. We have potatoes in the fridge, but we don't have a Stadia. I guess that makes you a well, substandard people, potato owner. People with only potatoes. Fair enough. I think they would have better, you know, more pressing matters than getting a stadium. Hey, you gotta do something with your free time. <laughs> yeah, Play I don't know the Pac-Mans. I don't know what they used to do in the old days when they were bored. I tried uh, asking one of my 14 brothers and sisters, but, you know. They played uh, stick and hoop, and uh, and ten pin. I'm just making stuff up now. <laughs> I think my my answer was more susceptible or acceptable. <laughs> it was like susceptible to what? Susceptible to being a good joke. God damn it. I hear jacks were popular in the 40s. Yeah, but then they kind of wore off. I don't know why I was going with that. Me neither. Although, I do wish I could do the, the diving attack animation that these dragoons do. That'd be kind of a neat ability. Just helicopter spin through a group of enemies. Yeah, why don't we have that as an AOE jump? Instead of whatever the hell your Kurth and Torment combo is. What, yeah, is, what that? is that? Yeah, what is that? You're just like, you're just like showing them, like, look at my spear. 
and then like waves of energy just flow out. From I them. go pokey pokey poke. You know what else I do? I go pokey pokey poke some more. Three line AOE AOEs. That's a great idea. Said no one ever. At least make at least let us have like a mini jump, or at least give us our fucking pole dance back. You know what I'm talking about, Ring of Thorns. Is that at me? Yes. I know about it only because you and Saren have told me about it like four times. I, uh, I didn't even pick up the Lancer job until... Hey! Uh, okay. Nice! It's mine, Saren's finally. like, thank god. I think everybody has a Thornton <laughs> bird now. Yep. Everyone has a Thornton bird. Except for those who don't pay attention to Discord. <laughs> Alright, well, we normally wrap up our stream at 9, so if people have more stuff that they want to do, I am game to support that. I need 20 more runs of something to get my first bear. Oh, Mount Pictures. Oh yeah, Mount Pictures. That is an excellent point. We haven't been able to do one of these with all the birds in quite a while. Everyone get your bird. The law. This will be my first uh, Mount this Farm way. picture on Grandpa Kai. Smallest bird in the front. Tomia, you can you can squeeze in there between Kuro and Saren. <laughs> yeah. Birds. I'm going to cheer. And then we will G pose this. Oh, my pixels. Okay. Um... Excuse me. I'm going to have to find a, uh, a filter here that doesn't hurt my eyes. Yeah. Good luck with that. Holy snikes. That's not it. How about this one? Nope. Uh, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. Told you. Well, actually... It's not as bad as it initially appeared. Let's see what we can do with this. I kind of don't like most of the, the default frames, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I feel you. That's why I mostly use limb darkening. If limb darkening was a little bit more selective, I think I'd be more okay with it. It adds some... Uh additional attitude to some pictures especially if you're going for the dark and broody look I think I could probably add a little touch of purple no nope I don't like that at all washes everything out blue is not bad What am I looking for? Uh, that's what I'm looking for. I don't think there's much else I can do with this. Let's give that a try. Where's our G-Pose artist when we need him? I know, right? <laughs> Kaim, if you're watching, this is all your fault. <laughs> I 
God, these birds, they're just, they're so bright. It's hard to get any kind of a filter that doesn't make it even more bright. That looks cool. Let me see. I'm having to go outside my favorites here because I don't normally don't normally do these. There we go. That's a little better. We'll give those a try. Yeah. I mean, it's very bright, but it works. Look at a Saren. Yeah. Okay, I'm spying on you. <laughs> I mean, we are live streaming this. I'm like, <laughs> maybe he's watching me take a picture on the live stream. Oh yeah, I forget this is a thing that happens. Let me do a G pose on um with the vanilla version. It always seems brighter on your screen than it does when you actually save the image. Oh yeah. So we're right now we're where uh the picture Saren took looks super bright on her screen. Um it looks a lot better. Uh, it doesn't look nearly as bright in the uh, actual end photo. Well, in this case, that's probably a good thing, right? Yeah. But it's more like when you're trying to take like a Dark Knight picture. Gotcha. And then everything just becomes black. Which I guess is still a Dark Knight picture, but you know. I love that the idle poses on our birds are all synchronized. That's what happens when you go into G pose. It's it's almost a little unsettling. I'm not gonna lie. It's like you know that's how you can get pe like if you're trying to get people uh, synced up in a dance. Yep. You can do that on your side at the very least by going into G pose and popping back out. Yeah, I love how we got halfway through recording our spooky scary skeletons dance before I realized that that was a thing we could do. So like I could have like completely started my dance at the tail end of everybody else and you could have just synced us up on your end, which is the most important because you're the one recording. Right. I'm and still very happy with the way that that came out, by the way. Yeah, but then it got flagged immediately. Oh yeah, demonetized immediately, which is fine because we haven't been able to monetize our channel anyway. I'm sorry. I take full responsibility. No, I mean, to monetize on YouTube, you need a thousand subscribers, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's not going to be an issue. Yeah. I got a buddy at work. He made... He got up to... Last week, he said he had 85 followers, and he's only been uh, on Twitch. He's only started his Twitch channel for like a week ago. Interesting. But he's, like, streaming, like, fighting games and Apex Legends and shit like that. Yeah, there, you've got your, like, top ten for titles that uh, if you stream those, people will flock to it. Uh, if you do a Minecraft stream, uh, you know, you can hit triple digits pretty easily. Um, just because there's that many people that want to watch people play Minecraft. Uh, Fortnite, another great example. Um, Among Us, you can play any of those games. Yeah, games I will not... I mean... Minecraft is okay. I would play it again 
only if I had like a friend a friend server to jump onto. Yep. And play with them. It's one of those things where it's like, it's not even about how I feel about those games. It's just statistically, if you want a lot of follows, you stream one of the big games. Yeah, but most of those games, like the, the Battle Royales and shit like that, I'm like, yeah, no thanks. If I build a following of people, it's going to be playing games that I actually enjoy and want to engage with. Yeah, that's fair. Like Nier Automata. All right, so we've got about 40 minutes of time still blocked out for this evening if people want to do stuff. If people are feeling kind of tired, I know attendance has been kind of all over the place tonight. Um, we can call this early if people prefer. Uh, I am still grateful that folks turned out for it. Um, hopefully a little bit better luck next time for getting the content done that people voted for. And hopefully not everybody is sick as a dog, apparently. Yeah, it is flu season, and even if it weren't, it's plague season, round 10, you know. It's been plague season for a whole year. Yep. It's, it's been 10 solid months of pseudo-lockdown or or straight-out lockdown. Well, I know the lockdowns didn't start, at least in the Northeast, till March, because I remember going to two conventions in February. Yep. And it wasn't an issue then. Yeah. Well, like, it was, it was starting to be an issue, but... It, not as big as it is. We went so out. We are coming up to a year pretty quick. Yeah, we went out uh, for a big outing on my birthday last year because we hadn't even received the news of COVID nineteen up here in Maine. Uh, we didn't know it was even a thing until a month after my birthday. So it was, it was right around the start, the middle of March, before things started getting serious. Yeah. Of course, we don't exactly live in a population center in New England. That's it's not really a thing up here. Well, unless it's like Boston. Right. <laughs> and even they, I think we're a lot slower to get it than a lot of places uh, in the in the southeast and, and the the west. Shit, and Boston Florida. itself got hit pretty hard. I was working in a hospital um, once a week uh, during this like March era. Yep. They got hit pretty pretty hard. New York City, Florida, California, those three states, it's spread like a fucking wildfire. Understandable. Population's real dense. Mm hmm And the people, too. I was going to say, the it's like a, a slogan that I saw, is the spread of disease depends on two factors, the density of the population and the density of the population. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, it's it's how dense the population is and how dense the population is, but you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get the joke. Joke, I'd say it's a fact. Yeah. Whoops. An entertaining fact, but... Whoops. Okay. How many typos can I do in one word? Three. All right. Well, it seems like uh, we have, you know, quite a few people who aren't feeling super great, have a couple things to get to. So I think probably this would be a good place to wrap up a little bit early tonight. Um, I'm going to put out some feelers in the events channel on our Discord, see if anybody wants to do a non live stream run of anything else this week. Uh, and if we get uh, some feedback for that, we will pop it on the calendar. Yeah. I said I need 20 more rounds to get my bear. <laughs> Your sentence is 20 rounds of synced EX Titan. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I might unleash full drill sergeant on any of those poor sprouts. Yeah, I... I'd be reported and my account would probably be banned by, the, by this time tomorrow. When I first started doing my mentor roulettes, I told myself I'm not going to be a toxic mentor. I'm, I'm not going to be one of those jerk faces that just quits the minute they see something they don't want to do. Um, I'm actually going to try to coach people through it and, and 
discuss mechanics and whatnot, but I think it was the second or third time I was trapped for the entire two-hour clock for Akfa Amphitheater Extreme, where uh, people were just completely YOLO polling and weren't responsive in chat, like they didn't even know how to use party chat. <laughs> that I just went, I, I'm not doing this. I can't do this anymore. All my gear is broken. I've spent two hours. I have nothing to show for it except for a 30k repair bill. I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, at the point of YOLO poll and not responding to instruction, at that point, it's like, yeah, nope, you're out, I'm out of here. And then the midway point for me was I would give them enough wipes to hit the 15-minute mark and then vote abandon, and then people would not vote abandon because they're like, no, no, we could do it, we could do it. And I'm like, you just wiped it 80% health. No, you can't. <laughs> yeah. Um, so now after my, – my tracker for Mentor Roulette has hit 200 items now. Um, if I see an EX synced, I just quit. I, I hate doing it, but mm -hmm. I'd rather take Why the 30 minute lockout timer than spend two hours and 30,000 gil just wasting my time. No, there, there, I think there's actually like, there's communities out there who will lovingly run people through that content. Absolutely. That's what party finders for. But, um, yeah, mentor roulette and just waiting and just queuing for it is never been the way of completing that stuff sitting in queue for two hours until somebody gets sucked into your your group and you're like yay and the person who's sucked into your group is like oh kill me now and they're like uh nope bye yep but yeah no it's like you not even when that content was current would people just pop open a queue and wait for other people to jump in with you yeah, I um I had not been introduced to party finder just like everybody else it the game doesn't really explain it to you um and my introduction that it was in fact a thing was trying to solo queue for Garuda EX synced um, towards the late Heaven's Word period. I had just finished the story and I picked up the quest and I said, okay, well, let's go get the quest done. Um, and two and a half hours into the queue, I went, something's probably wrong. So I Googled it and I went, oh, nobody does these synced. Why didn't you say so? Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. I think on that happy note, um, I am going to go ahead and sign off for our stream. I will still be online if anybody wants help with any content. Um, but otherwise, thank you so much for coming, and we hope to see you on the next one. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. Take it easy. And to you folks following along on the stream, thank you so much for your patience for a rather unorthodox Sunday fun day run. We hope a couple of our more senior nights are feeling better by this time next week. Uh, and we'll go ahead and we will pop something in the events channel on our Discord to go ahead and get something unofficial on the roster for this calendar week. Uh, depending on how the feedback goes or what content we, content we end up doing, uh, that may end up being an unscheduled live stream. So keep an eye on our Twitch feed and on the community page on Facebook for upcoming announcements for that. Uh, again, thank you so much for your continued love and support. If you're watching this after the fact on YouTube, please go ahead and consider accommodation, or in this case, hit that like and or notification button. Go ahead and check out our support the cause link below in the description to check out our Tiltify link which, as I mentioned at the beginning of this segment, supports our Chocobus 2020 fundraiser to raise funds for Save the Children. They are in ongoing efforts against the coronavirus outbreak here in the United States and abroad, and your donations really do uh, help go a long way towards supporting that cause. So, would seriously appreciate it if you consider it, but in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and wrap this segment up. We hope to see you next week. I'll see you on Thursday for Kai Plays Ori in the Blind Forest, and until next time... May you ever walk in the light of the crystal.